Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper and welcome to the land where I'm going to be building my version 2.0 homestead. Uh, we just parked off on the side of the road over here and we're hiking in, River and I, uh, to go to a special place, one of the most beautiful spots on this land. Uh, and we're going to, you know, spend a few hours here. If you've ever bought land before, one of the great things that you can do on it, uh, you know, once you, you know, find this place that you might want to build a home, is to get to know the place, to really uh, get a sense of, you know, what's there and uh, a sense of, you know, where the sun is at different times of day and uh, uh, familiarize yourself with it because if this is a place that you plan on living for a while, obviously you want to, you know, position your house in, in a place that you think is going to be the most, uh, you know, the most pleasant and the, and the most productive for you. We've come up to the sort of the top of this open clearing and right here is where we're going to be placing our house. It's got a sort of a, a, a rise here so it's protected from some of the water in terms of flooding and everything. Uh, there's also a lot of boulders back up in there and we're going to be able to berm uh, our house right up into there. Uh, we have a little trail that continues down to some water features and that's where we're actually headed today, a really beautiful one that I wanted to share with you guys. But uh, one of the things I love about this place is just the topography is so varied. There's a lot of rock outcroppings and uh, like I said water features and it's just really beautiful. The bugs really aren't that bad and the woods are, uh, are pretty thick with a lot of larger trees and you know some, some new growth as well. We've uh, made maybe uh, four or five trips into the area that we're going into right now. So we've been kind of uh, civilizing this path here a little bit. My boy's running up ahead and he already kind of has a sense of how to get where we're going because we've uh, opened it up and he's been through here a bunch of times. I don't know, are we getting off the trail a little bit though? Yeah, I think we used to usually go around those trees. This works just as well though. Still getting used to it a little bit. But uh, it's really important, like I was saying, to, uh, to get onto the land and get a real sense of it. I, I know that whenever you, know, you purchase land, you're really anxious to, to get going, to you know, start setting things up. But uh, it's a great idea to really get yourself uh, familiar with the, the, uh, the possibilities that you have on your site. Just walking through here. This is one of the, the more beautiful spots here. Is just all this this rock outcropping right here. It's just really, really beautiful the way the terrain is through here. I think it's really gorgeous. And this is just on the way to a water feature that I was saying I want to share with you guys. We also have a lot of stone walls around here. We're coming up on one right here that I'm going to share with you in a moment. And they have some natural pass-throughs that we've kind of used to uh, you know, to move through so that you don't have to dismantle them or, or go climbing up, up and over them. We're just about at the water feature, it's just up ahead here, and uh, water features are just a wonderful asset to have on your land from a you know, preparedness and survival standpoint. Obviously water is life, having access to it is really important, uh, but they can also be uh, a tricky thing to build near because they can, uh, they can represent, you know, flood dangers, uh, and, well, mostly flood dangers, really. And uh, whenever you're building near anything like that, it is really important to, uh, you know, keep some distance between you and the water in terms of, you know, elevation. Here's a little trail that I blazed just yesterday through all this stuff. It's just, uh, you know, low-growing, sort of, I'm not sure if those are edible or not. Not familiar with that yet. Have to make myself familiar with it. Uh, you know, just all this low growing brush. And here we are, if you can listen to the, uh, the stream. There's a beautiful spot right here. That is just a great place for River and I to come and hang out. It's gonna be just a short walk from the house. And we're up elevated enough so that when this area does you know do its seasonal flooding or anything like that it's not going to threaten us but this is a wonderful clean water source that uh you know we can depend on if uh you know things ever ever get really crazy so 
Oh yeah, yeah, there's a little fly. That's all right. Uh, so we're, uh, River and I are gonna spend probably a couple hours here uh, just relaxing. It's a Saturday when I'm recording this. And uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share with you guys uh, just an initial look of where we're planning on doing our, our uh, construction. And obviously I'm gonna be uh, taking you guys along on the journey of uh, you know all the rest of it. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on uh, the Waterfall House. That's what River's calling it, the Waterfall House construction project. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.